so how we can close class dot for name if you load a driver class here r kill dot jdbc dot r kill driver driver manager dot get connection it will provide us our connection so while providing this connection what it will do it will request your database and database will release one socket for this it will release one socket for this and through this socket the communication will going through socket your statements they will go through these sockets so if you create a statement using this statement if you try to execute any query execute update if you pass any dml query here like insert into some table values insert into student values if you pass some values here <coughs> abc so through this socket it will execute this statement this statement it will pass through the sockets then database will accept that statement and it will store into its database now once after completion of your code finally what you should do you need to call connection dot close method once if you call this connection dot close method then it will close this socket it will request your database to close sockets then it will close its sockets then the same socket it can make available to any other users let's say if your database maximum number of connections are 20 max connections from database every database will provide us some max connections the max connections are here if the connections count is 20 <coughs> so if you write your code without having this connection dot close method at a time 20 users if they request your application if it is a web application and if users 20 users if they request your code 20 users if they request your code if 20 users at a time if they request your code the same code 20 users if they try to execute if it is in multi thread environment 20 users if they try to request without calling connection dot close method if they try to call what happens it will release 20 sockets here it will release maximum 20 sockets it will release maximum 20 sockets and once after completion of this users we are not closing any connections here so one more user if you request this application 21st user if you request this application again this application it will try to get connection from database whenever it try to open one more new connection here database listeners they will refuse our connection and they will throws exceptions connections not available so then what you should do once after completion of your job you need to call your jvm you need to call your jvm and you need to intimate to your jvm what you need to close the resource of connection so once if you intimate to your jvm to close the connection then jvm will request our database to close the connection then after completion of this first user job then it will close the socket here so one by one one by one it will close all the sockets once if they done through their statements then one more new user if you request then it will make available connections to the users so compulsory you should not forget to close the connection okay just try to execute a statement by opening 10 command prompts open 10 command prompts and by putting some thread sleep time you try to execute as a 20 users from 10 command prompts if you try to request your database open open uh, or else write a for loop here write a for loop in that for loop try to get the connections try to get connections how many connections try to get 50 connections without closing your connection up to 20 connections it will print from the 21st connection your listener will throws the exceptions connections not available so what you should do if you close the connection then it will make available if you forget to close connection then it will not make available connections to us so internally connection dot close method will request your jvm 
to close the resource on database then your database will close the connection then the same connections it will make available to the new users okay and we know about complete statement right we know how to execute statements <clears throat> so in case of statement what happens actually here if i go through statement there are multiple types of statements right statement prepared statement callable statements if i go through statement here connection dot create statement it will provide as a statement object using this statement you can execute any dml operations here so let's say if you try to write 10 insert operations here if you try to write 10 insert operations here 10 insert operations insert into student values insert into student values and if you pass data here one a a gmail.com and once again same query insert into student values to b b at gmail.com so if you write 10 statements here so for 10, uh, 10 statements what it will do it will execute the uh, this 10 statements one by one one by one on database we have um, address queries right in rkl and in mysql we have address queries so if you go through this type of queries what happens every time it will execute one new query on database every time it will create one new query insert into student values insert into student values insert into student values let's say if you try to write the same statement for 10 times 10 times it will execute the st same statement on database we have address queries right for doing insert operations address queries how we can write that address queries insert into student insert into student id name email and continue values ampersand id ampersand name ampersand email right once if i run this query it will ask us to enter id here id id value you need to enter then it will ask us to enter name name value you need to enter then email once if you close and run it will insert this statement then once if you give slash again it will ask us id name so again if you give slash again it will ask us to insert so by using only one single statement you can insert any number of records here okay to improve your application to improve your application processing instead of using this type of queries if you go through address queries a single query it will run on database that single query it will take multiple inputs from us so this type of address queries if you want to run this execute update is not suitable so then we have prepared statement using prepared statement this type of address queries you can execute so how we can execute instead of creating a statement here you can create a prepared statement here connection dot prepared statement connection dot prepare statement connection dot prepare statement here you can create a statement insert into student values query strings we need to pass here simple question marks id for id one question mark for name one question mark for email one question mark query strings simple placeholders question marks then it will release us or it will provide us one prepared statement object prepared statement object it will provide us one prepared statement object so internally it will generate what it will generate a address query which kind of query insert into student 
ID name, email, values, ampersand ID, ampersand name, ampersand email. It will generate an address query internally. Into that address query, now you can pass any number of values here. How we can pass? Prepared statement dot. From here, you can set your parameters. So, into this query string, if you want to pass value, here, the indexes of these query strings are 1, 2, 3. Now, into first index, if you want to pass value, and if the data type, if it is integer, set int 1 and the value, 1 and the value, something ABC, prepared statement dot, set string, name, id, name, prepared statement dot set string abc at gmail.com in this way you can pass your required data finally you can call prepared statement dot here also we have methods like execute update and execute query methods So, if the statement is for DML operation, here if you are trying to executing DML operation, if this query is DML query, then you need to call finally execute update method. If you are trying to executing DRL operations here, if your operation if it is DRL, then finally you need to call execute query method here. But in this method, you no need to pass any values. In case of statement, what we have to do? Under execute update or under execute query method, we need to pass values. But coming to prepared statement, while creating your prepared statement itself, you need to pass your required query here. Then the values you need to pass here. Finally, you need to call your required method like execute or execute update or execute query methods. So if you call execute update method, it will run which query here? DML. If you try to call execute query method, here it will run DRL. If I write DML here and if I write, if I call execute query, this is not suitable statement. If I if I pass DML query here and finally if I call execute query, execute query will expect some data from database and it will execute only DRL statements. If you write any DML statement and if finally if you call execute query, that is not suitable statement. So if it is DML, call execute update. If it is DRL, call execute query methods here. Okay. <coughs> Once after executing your data by calling execute update method, I can insert data in database. Again, if you want to insert one more record, again pass values. Prepared statement dot set int. Second record. Prepared statement dot set string. Prepared statement dot set string of three lmn at some gmail.com finally you can call execute update so how many records i can insert here by using single statements your wish you can keep it in for loop and insert thousands of records by using single statement it will insert all the records into database okay so using single statement you can insert any number of records on database by using prepared statement in case if you have multiple records on your hands, if you want to insert that all records into database in a single statement itself, then you better to go through prepared statements instead of doing with statement. Okay. Yeah. Using this prepared statement also, you can execute DML operations and as well as DRL operations also. Okay. If it is a DML, I need to write like this. If it is a DRL, if you have a record in database, record ID, name, email. I have a record here one with name abc, abc at gmail.com. I have a record here. Now I want to get that record. So then I need to write DRL query here. Select star from student and the condition where id equal to question mark 
so that id value i need to pass that id type is what integer so then what i should do prepared statement dot set int only one placeholder we have one and the id is one or else triple one okay by giving that id here finally which method i need to call prepared statement dot execute query method and the return type of this execute query is result set we know how to deal with result set okay so you can iterate your result set here while rs dot next you can call system dot out dot println rs dot get int of one rs dot get string of two rs dot get string of three then it will print your data here okay you can execute your required dml statement or any drl statements by using this prepared statement when i should when i should go through this kind of statements here in case if you required more than one record if you want to check first student details second student details third student details if you want to know one by one all the student details and if you want to execute this query only one time on database then you can go through this prepared statement up to here this code need to execute only one time then this code you can execute any number of times how we can execute you can keep it in a switch or you can keep it in a for loop and you can execute it okay you can take input values from the users by using scanner pass that input to numbers here your required number ids based on that ids it will provide us that user id name email data okay 